divisive in his lifetime and still dividing today. Many believe that Cecil Rhodes' lofty position in this city needs to change. He's seen as a racist imperialist who created great wealth at the expense of those least able to afford it in Africa. His continued presence is seen as a source of anger. Much of it aimed at Oxford University's Oriel College. The campaign to remove Rhodes has a long history. As a student, Femi Nylander tried to bring it down. He's back now with renewed vigour. Who are these old, probably, well, indeed, certainly very wealthy, probably old white men, um, who have such a problem with the idea of a statue of a, a racist um, genocide ever being taken down. Oxford certainly is an institution which has a long way to go in um, addressing both these historical issues and where it is today. Cecil Rhodes became rich through diamond mining, was elected prime minister of the Cape Colony and founded Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. He was an ardent colonialist, some say racist, because he actively promoted an Anglo-Saxon empire. Sites are set on Rhodes, but there are other statues around the UK, including one in Shrewsbury of Robert Clive over his role in British colonial rule in India, one in Cardiff of Thomas Picton, in Edinburgh of Henry Dundas, both involved in the slave trade. And Robert Milligan was today removed from his prominent place outside the Museum of London Docklands. The slave trader brought down on the same day, the city's mayor announced a review of statues and street names. Imagine what it's like as a black person to walk past a statue of somebody who uh, enslaved your ancestors. And we are commemorating them, celebrating them as icons in uh, the heart of the most diverse city in the world. The governing body of Oriel College said today that they abhor racism and discrimination and will continue to debate and discuss examples of contested heritage relating to Cecil Rhodes. Some activists argue that focusing on statues may be a missed opportunity. A statue falling is not going to contribute anything to the progress and the prosperity of black people within the United Kingdom, but we do have an opportunity where the government is listening, ministers have expressed their experience of racism. Let's actually really ask for concrete changes, whether that's in education, healthcare, or something else. Cecil Rhodes' troubling history is carved into this city. Despite the opposition, his position for now is secure. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Oxford.